Pretty large angular class of quartz here. Nothing too crazy. There's a little bit of a, uh, it looks like bog irons. Sort of a silty to sandy texture on those. A lot of quartz boulders up through here. Probably washed out from ancient stream beds during the Cretaceous. I think we're still in the mud. Uh -huh. We're still in, from my understanding, the Middendorf at this point. Although the lower parts of these beds may or may not, and that's what we're trying to figure out, be associated with the uh, Triassic Rift Basins because the margin error on those maps is quite large. I'm getting up in here, a little bit of a darker, I'm thinking, Gothite. I'll have to probably take a few of these and figure it out. It's all in this little patch here of what appear to be a layer of bog irons. I'll probably take some samples back, take a closer look at those to see if that's accurate. Interestingly enough, there's actually a dark band of material right here, and I'm probably going to take a closer look at it, but it could be a coal seam. Either that or an iron ore. Some of the rocks around here are a little bit more in formation. And that's to be expected as we get kind of deeper into this cut. That we would see a bit more that's actually in formation. Although I'll have to take samples to see if this is actually associated with the beds I'm thinking they're associated with. Or whether or not this has all just been dirt. And then this is the incidental sandstone that occurs in that formation. I actually wasn't really expecting to see here as much as quartz pockets, like little pockets of quartz crystals right up in all there. Uh, a lot of this quartz does seem pretty angular, so that means that something has to have broken it apart. Um, my guess is that some of these are the remnants of quartz veins kind of running up and down, kind of in formation with the Triassic Rift Basin sediments, which do appear to be outcropping around here. They just appear to be outcropping only in certain parts at the very lower ends of this outcrop, and only in very specific sections like the one I'm coming up with here on here. Which would make sense. Um, that That's not particularly surprising. Um, we know that the Vindor Formation overlays this, and I think the contact here is actually that that little bit of red rock there. Or that red red sediment with that those bouldery quartz up there. I think that's the contact between the Bender and Triassic Rift. This is one of those annoying things in geology. Because I'm really not going to be able to tell until I get back and take a close look at these whether or not they're coal. And which it would probably be um, lignite. I mean, there's there's probably not much more of a grade to it than that or whether or not they're, they're um, yeah. coal or black irons, although I'm leaning towards coal. And that's largely because black irons aren't really gonna stay black iron ore for very long in an environment like this on the side of a road. And uh, what's relatively humid, temperate region, I would be surprised to see black irons maintain a dark coloration for very long I would assume they would probably go back to more of a or take on a reddish hue like the rest of the rocks around them which is leaning me towards the idea that these are probably lignite but at the same time I'm looking for lignite so that, that can't always be just my bias leading me towards that conclusion. You know, you never realize how big they actually are until you're walking down the side of the road and you actually see one. Like, this thing is like, look at how big that is. It's like a good seven to ten feet taller than I am. I'm here at the Deep River Park and pretty early on into my uh, coal investigation there, I uh, came across this large hill 
where the indoor ironworks once sat. And it is just chock full of hard rock that you really wouldn't see this close to a river in this part of the state. There's no apparent stratigraphy, which leads me to believe that this is probably, especially since there's no evidence of it on the property, uh, at least in part, tailings from the Cumnock mine, which would have been just across that river. There's no apparent stratigraphy or information layout. And it's usually pretty indicative that you're standing on the tailings pile and you have a bunch of hard rocks that don't really seem like they should be there. They're not rounded, so they're not transported by water. Uh, in, in some cases you will see, uh, not in this one, I haven't seen it yet, but in some of these cases I will see little uh, blast holes drilled into the rock. So that's usually a pretty good sign you're looking at a tailings pile. So, I guess the question comes, why set a tailings pile here instead of next to the mine? And it probably comes down to the fact that just across where the uh, Cumnockle mine actually sits today, there's a large corporate property. And if you're going to move coal mine rubble, somewhere and you can't really get it back into the mine itself without poisoning the water supply uh, because it's interconnected to the groundwater what better place to set it than a random public park and then subsequently donate that land to the state or county to have as a place for people to hang out of course this poses no real harm this isn't leaching any I, I wouldn't think this was leaching much of anything that the normal rocks around here don't already leach and better here than in the river or anywhere else for that matter most of this is actually not particularly rich in coal to begin with and a lot of it is just the thousands upon thousands of feet of Redstone, red bed sandstones that you would have had to dig through to get to the coal seams at the Cumnock mine. No, not thousands, probably hundreds. Now the only weird fluke in my theory here is that when we round this corner here, there's a little quarry that's been dug out here. And it does appear at least some of these rocks are in formation. It's pretty hard to tell. And it doesn't necessarily negate the idea that a lot of this is probably built up around tailings, especially if there's already a hill here. But most of it appears roughly in formation. And I've yet to get a hammer out and take a piece of this off, but I'm almost certain it's the same sedimentary rocks of the Triassic Rift Basins that you'd see in many other places around this area. <laughs> 